it is one of the most important parts of liberal policy to make the best of our land, producing more food from it, employing more people on it, and giving a better living to all land workers. The other two parties may want to do the same, but the Conservatives always have been, and always will be, too much tied up to vested interests to do much permanent good to the real cultivator. Labour's declared policy is the nationalisation of the industry of agriculture, though most of their candidates run away from it. And nationalisation will cut no ice at all, though if we all became civil servants, it would be very nice for those who got the big salaries, so long as no one can show where the money is to come from. Liberals know that you cannot permanently get more out of a thing than you put in, and therefore that the higher standard of life for all who work on the land, which they are aiming at, depends upon making the industry of agriculture really prosperous. What then is the liberal land policy? I give it under seven heads. First, that those who have to sell their produce or their labor under free trade conditions should not have to buy what they need under protection and therefore dearer. If the conservatives again get in, duties are threatened on everything made of iron and steel, on all leather goods and bricks and tiles, on furniture, and on all clothes and stockings and boots and shoes. To the farmer, this would be the last straw and would tend to depress wages, and it would increase the cost of living. Liberals are determined that it shall not be done. Second, to help all producers to obtain a better share of what the consumer pays for their produce. This is vital, for we have been losing our hold on our own markets because we do not grade and standardize our stuff. The way forward is fully explained in the liberal book, The Farmer and His Market, which you should read because it is worth reading. Thirdly, to help all producers to turn out a larger proportion of first-rate stuff. This depends largely on the efficiency of the worker, and the worker cannot be expected to give the best work unless he has interest in it and prospects from it. Some farmers have still got a lot to learn in getting their men to work for them and with them rather than under them, and every man will work better for a master if he has the prospect some day of being his own master and working for himself. To this end, liberals will encourage every kind and size of small holding wherever land is suitable at rents which workers can afford to pay. Every man will have a right to half an acre of garden. 